Identity theft happens when a criminal steals information about you and uses that information to commit fraud such as requesting unemployment benefits, tax refunds, or files a new loan or credit card in your name. If you don't take precautions, you may end up paying for products or services that you didn't buy and you end up dealing with the stress and the financial burden that follows. Keep in mind your personal information exists in numerous places all over the internet. Every time you browse or purchase something online, watch a video, buy groceries, visit your doctor, or use an app on your smartphone, information about you is being collected all the time. That information is often legally sold or shared with other companies. Think of it even if one of your accounts get hacked, the criminals gain access to your personal information. Well, one way to look at it, assume that some information about you is already available to the criminals today and consider the measures you can take to slow down or detect the use of your information. Review your financial cards and other accounts regularly for any charges or payments that you did not make. An easy way to do this is to sign up for email, text messages, or phone app notifications. Investigate situations where merchants decline your credit card or debit cards. Look into letters or phone calls from debt collectors for overdue credit card payments, medical bills, or loans that you know are not yours. Pay attention to letters that inform you about unemployment or other government benefit claims for which you never applied. If available in your area, review your credit reports at least once a year. Contact the organization that is involved in the fraud. For example, if a criminal opened a credit card in your name, call the credit card company to notify them about the fraud. If someone filled for a tax refund or unemployment benefits in your name, contact the corresponding government organization. File a report with law enforcement to create an official record of an identity theft. You can often do this online by following website instructions and following the guidance on any additional steps that you may need to take on their website. When responding to fraud, keep records of your interactions with your financial institutions, law enforcement, as well as the cost you incur due to identity theft in case these details will be needed at a later time. Notify your insurance company. You may already have identity theft protection included in your policy that you might not be aware of. Simple steps that one can take to decrease the chances of an identity theft from happening is to limit as much as information you share about yourself with online services and websites. Use a unique strong password for all of your accounts and enable two-factor authentication as an additional protection measure. If applicable in your location, restrict who can get access to your credit reports. For example, in the United States, you can freeze your credit score so that anyone who tries to get a credit card or a loan in your name will have to first unfreeze it temporarily. Consider getting insurance coverage either through a dedicated policy or as part of your existing insurance plan that will cover the cost of dealing with an identity theft.